Thanks for downloading this podcast from the American Institute of Architecture students. For more information on our organization, please go to www.aias.org. Hi, everyone. Greetings from Boston. Uh, the next issue of or episode of the Andrew and Tony Show, live from Boston. Yep. So I don't know if you can see in the background, but there's Boston. It's great to be here in Boston and to be broadcasting really live from AI Convention 2008, We the People. Uh, it's been an incredible experience. Today is the last day of the conference, and we're about to head into the general business session, uh, or I guess the general business session, with Ambassador Andrew Young, who is delivering uh, today's keynote. Um, let's do a little recap of what we've done. Um, well, first, there are about 200 uh, students here um, out of 24,000. Total attendees uh, come from around the world, quite literally. Um, kind of like Forum, there's a large expo, um, a lot of sessions going on, but if you took Forum and you kind of multiplied that by about 200, uh, that's what you get. We've pretty much taken over the entirety of the convention center here in Boston, uh, the new one, as well as some rooms in the different hotels and all of that. So it's kind of a big deal, um, but really educational and really inspiring to see so many people. There have been so many great events, too, from the keynote speakers like uh, Millard Fuller, who was the founder of Habitat for Humanity International, to today's presentation, and all of the incredible things going on at the AIA. Uh, there are the Auto Awards programs yeah. that um, we recognize some of the best architecture in the country. Uh, we also had all of the new fellows inducted into the AIA College of Fellows. Um, a lot, of, a lot of networking opportunities, all the different universities and uh, components around the country had receptions. Yep. Um, so you got to see people that you may have not yep. seen in a long time. Yep. And just today, actually, about two hours ago, I came from the International Presidents Forum, which is where presidents from architectural organizations all across the world come together to talk about issues in the built environment. There were probably about 30 different presidents in attendance everywhere. There was someone in the room from every continent, uh, except for in um, of course, and uh, it was really an incredible dialogue. There are incredible similarities in the issues that we're all facing as architects in the globalized world, and then there are also really interesting subtleties uh, and differences to the way that we need to approach these issues. So it was a really interesting conversation, and uh, you should be happy to know that the student voice was directly at that table. And I led the charge to all of the other presidents from around the world to connect with the AIAS as a way of building a global network for the future of the profession. And on top of that, the AS had a strong showing here. Um, we have a couple events that we have every year. Um, the nightcap reception, which is usually a favorite of all the attendees. We have all the collateral presidents from the United States, guests, friends, and um, a lot of AS members too, of course, um, which is always a great showing. We also had a special opportunity to sit down with Millard Fuller, the founder of Habitat for Humanity and the student uh, session, the student roundtable. Um, those who were at convention last year know that we got to sit down with Al Gore in a very special seating. And it's really special to have Millard Fuller really share his personal experiences and his uh, professional experiences through Habitat for Humanity at his new organization, the Fuller Center for Housing. Um, which is always great to really get some insight. And it's pretty much a one-on-one -on -one dialogue. Everyone gets to ask questions. Um, and he was candid and honest. Uh, also looking at, you know, you all can look out online. We've worked with the AIA um, to have a student kind of video event blogging series. So in a couple days, a couple weeks maybe, uh, you'll see videos coming out through AIA that AIS members shot. Um, it's all of their own footage, so you'll see crazy things, fun things, yeah. um, and things kind of from our point of view that's a little bit more, let's say, unscripted than uh, the usual stuff that you see. And we had a really successful student lounge this year. We've had thousands of people come through the student lounge. They've been seeing your design work, especially the ones that all of our national design winners have been displayed there. Uh, they've been meeting with Tony and I and some of the other AIS students around there. Um, and they've been really interested in the way that future practitioners see architecture and what students are really passionate about these days. So you've made an incredible mark. Uh, as members of AIS on the future and the current profession through our attendance here. It's been really great. Actually, one of the greatest things that we've heard from members in attendance is the networking opportunities. Um, we have a legacy convocation which brings the AIS leaders back together. It's kind of our little reunion. Um, but students were there too, being able to speak to the first officially elected president or 
Is yeah, that from right? 1958, mm -hmm. uh, we were happy to meet this gentleman who helped us move from NASA, the National Architecture Student Association, into the AIAASC, the Associated Student Chapters of the AIA. When we were that still happened in part, of, part of AIA yeah. before we became independent. So we were NASA before NASA was NASA. Yeah. The only reason why we changed our name was because, quote, we weren't going to the moon. Yes, um, and actually the government approached us and told us we needed to change it. So we didn't really have a choice in the matter. Oops. Um, so it's really great. And then, you know, to meet people and um, all of the students have been saying it's a great opportunity to talk with peers from around the world. Actually, we had a, a few friends from Canada um, who were hanging out with us, um, as well as from Russia and among other countries, uh, meeting professionals. Um, and of course, meeting with associates. Um, you know, you may have seen on our business cards and everything, we're both associate AIA, which is basically the category within AIA membership for those who are out of school but not licensed yet. And meeting those who are kind of going through the same issues that we're going to be facing. You know, how do we get through IDP? How do we test? What do we do? What advice can we get? And that's a really powerful young group of, yeah. of membership. It's been great to work with the National Associates Committee at the AIA and to share a lot of things in common and to support each other's missions. Uh, for the future of the professional, so it's been great. Um, we should probably get going because it looks like the keynote's about to start. Well, let me show you too. Um, it's really clearing out, so we should go, but that's the view on the other end of things. So, with and that, we'll leave you with a shot of Boston and thank you again for joining us here in, in, uh, in Boston. In Boston. Yeah. And Tony and I will see you again soon from Washington, D.C. So, thank you all, and we'll leave you with this. Thanks, Thanks again, again for, for listening. listening. This, this has been a production, production of the American, American Institute, Institute of Architecture Students.